Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Episode 4, which originally streamed live September 14th. Mostly food. Candy. Vitamins. A chrome toaster. A TV remote. A TV remote's an interesting one because you can use TV remotes to make advanced electronics. But, like, they're so rare, I find that... Ooh, fried chicken? Yes! <laughs> Says the person that hasn't had fried chicken in real life in an extraordinarily long time. But hey, it's food. I like it. And a burger. So, it's fried chicken and we're in Kentucky. You know what that means. Spiffo's fried chicken. <laughs> I admit to meat cravings. I only crave human flesh, Kadath. I think you know this. Uh-oh. Hey, a Hawaiian shirt. This guy looks like a uh, Freddie Mercury a bit with the mustache and the tight pants and the uh, undershirt. Sorry, zombie, Freddy. I just had to do it. It's me or you. It's gonna be me every time. Oh, is that all the... Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I just put all of that onto a corpse. Sorry. That's... I'm gonna have to loot that corpse now. <laughs> Zeddy Mercury. <laughs> I like it. What's my weight at? 74 and climbing? Okay, stop, stop, stop. I don't need the clothing. Let me put the clothing back. Sorry, zombie. To have stripped you of your bloody shirt. Why can't I? Oh, because I have the game paused. And now, Rodama admits to being an idiot. This just in. And here's your socks back. Guess I already proved that when I was delivering all of my uh, looted goods to a corpse. So it ain't no much, ain't much of a secret. But that was a pretty good haul. I mean, it should be. It's a, it's a store that I spent like two days trying to fight my way into. Black Friday style. I don't suspect I'm gonna find like any amazing clothing. Although I do want the Hawaiian shirt for personal reasons. Um, let's keep clearing it. A padlock, a box of nails, and a toolbox with a ton of stuff in the toolbox. Cool. The easiest way to loot toolboxes is to just drop them on the ground and then grab what's in them. Um... I have a garden saw already, but I like the the official saw thing. I'm not going to worry about the uh, the locks, though. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. The real loot. Hand scythes are some of the highest damage uh, short blades. I believe they're short blades, but they break pretty easy. I've got friends. Look at all this can good. Gotta break my back grabbing all this stuff. I'd preferably not want to come back. So I'm gonna try to 
grab everything I can before that door comes down. It is a metal door, I think, right? So it should should resist. Ooh, hi. All those farming books. So I have master farming already, right? Beginner, intermediate, uh, advanced. I'll just grab the master book. It's not that heavy. And now we're clear. I think that's everything. Let me uh, let me cheat. Well, not cheat, cheat, but let me uh, look at the map. Yeah, that's everything. Full clear. Fantastic. One thing I'm not going to have enough of is storage when I get back home. Because my shelves are going to be full, so I might have to go to a neighboring building to uh, steal. But before I do that, I'm going to... Oh, did I ch not check the freezers? I'm pretty sure I checked the freezers. Am I still backpackless? I am. So this is the nice cars I was talking about. And as you can see, there are three sports cars in the parking lot of this bar. The bar tends to have nice cars. Whether it has keys for them, I have no idea. I'm not going to stop because I'm massively encumbered. But it is worth checking. Now those cars are sports cars, so they're quick. But I'm a Sunday driver, so the quickness of the car doesn't really matter. And uh, they tend not to have big trunks. Not much room in the boot. Yeah, somehow or another, I've not found scissors yet, or a satchel, or duffel, or anything to put on my back. Uh, what are some other very common things I haven't found yet? I think those two are probably the big ones, is uh, some sort of back carry, carrying capacity and scissors. All the while having found two generators. I wouldn't expect a sledge just yet, because, you know, they're supposed to be a little rare. But scissors are not supposed to be that rare, so not, have, not having found scissors concerns me. And my luck trait that I'm supposed to have. Man, that Hawaiian shirt is ugly. Uh, there's no vanity here that it can uh, store stuff. I suppose I could start piling it up in the corner of something. Because this is... This here is just about full as well. Yep, now it's full. Alright, time to start a hoarder pile. I'm going to switch saws, go from garden to normal. They're the same weight. So there's no advantage using one or the other. Oh, come on. Dragging. There. Okay, and it's time for me to... eat something. I don't know what I'm eating, though. Well, let me just sit down for the show. I'll eat later. Yeah, my luck has deemed me un scissor unworthy. I, uh, I'm surprised. I really am. Normally when you play, like, every 12th zombie has, like, scissors embedded in their back. Like, the zombie apocalypse broke out at some sort of sewing convention. This will get me... What, halfway to four? I think? It's not bad. There's a quilting convention in Kentucky. Lots of grandmothers with scissors. Today I learned. Okay, it's not going to get me halfway. I lied about that. It will get me a tiny way <laughs> to four. I forgot that it's a 750 climb. Got 
God, whoever runs these, whoever wrote this dialogue is hilarious. I don't know if you ever read it, but it is ridiculous. It's like, you know, a shelf and a table. Can I get a yeehaw? What can we store in it? A Bible? A gun? <laughs> it's like, oh, Lord. Simple, simple entertainment. I'm almost done with the farming for beginners. Let me make some lunch. What are we having today? I want something that might spoil. Ideally. Uh, potato. That's perishable. I'm going to make a potato stir fry. Otherwise known as... Fries. Oh, cockroaches. I get them in the freezer too. I'll put the sugar in the freezer as well. I tend to just like put everything in the freezer. That is food or fridge. So potatoes and salt. Quite a healthy diet I'm on, clearly. Frozen cockroach. One thing I haven't really been doing uh, is I have not made any attempt to forage or trap or anything like that, but it's not going to happen until I'm done foraging. Hey, Jazzy. Welcome. Right. Oh, I'm not close enough to even see the progress of cooking. That's a bit of a problem. It is interesting that I can turn an 18 hunger potato into a 23 hunger potato just by frying it. It's not exactly how real life works, but I'll take it. And now that it's midday, get the door. Um, let's go check those cars. This car with its terrible, terrible, terrible engine, which started first try just to spite me. Could definitely use an upgrade. Oil adds calories, but I didn't cook it with oil. I just cooked it with salt. It was just salt and potatoes. Uh, I don't think it added that many calories to increase the uh, the caloric value of the fr uh, of the potatoes by 25% I would probably die all right sports cars yeah okay people lock their sports cars that makes sense well they only partially lock their sports cars Aiden thank you for the resub Zomboid is back yep it was voted on Yeah, we'll just call it uh, Magical Starch. I'm game for that. Well, obviously these cars are in really good condition. I don't see anything wrong with them. But let's check the insides. Gas empty. Engine, good quality. And trunk, small. Uh-oh. People are coming. What are we going to do? After having killed 133 zombies, I think you know exactly what I'm going to do to this one. I'm going to sit on the ground and play dead. Just kidding. Wait, is he... A v-neck sweater with a tank top. Nice. 
fashionable. Are we time restricted? We are not. No. Go wherever we please. In the latest update of uh, Zomboid, they have made improvements to um, like map loading and map efficiency so that you don't get massive save game bloat like you used to. I'm not going to say it's small. It's not small, but it's not uh, the massive bloat that it used to be. That and uh, because I'm not save scumming and backing up, it's just, you know, I don't need to uh, back up the saves at all. So the size of the save game file doesn't really matter. And this one's out of gas as well, with a very nice engine. But it's locked. Hey, a spare tire. All right, anyone in the bar? Nope, just me and the booze, so far. Oh, I hear someone trying to get in. <laughs> Holy! I sort of thought the growling was coming from a stall. But even when you expect it, you don't quite expect to get lunged at when you're going to the can. But there's a rule about that, isn't there? <laughs> I believe um, Zombieland covered that pretty, pretty thoroughly. Going to the bathroom in the zombie apocalypse is not fun. Look at all this, all this booze. I'm going to be one happy survivor. Pizza and a corn dog. I will eat the corn dog. <laughs> toilet zombies, yep. Dang, toilet zombies. This might be a good way to uh, up my cigarette as well. Just make sure to check what you're drinking before you drink it. Bleach. Hey, a baseball bat. So it was that kind of bar. One thing that I was hoping to find down here near the bar was uh, motorcycle zombies. Because motorcycle helmets are amazing, but I don't see any motorcycle zombies, so I'm out of luck. Motorcycle helmets are helmets that cover your neck as well, so they're amazing coverage. Because your neck is one of the most vulnerable areas of your body uh, in Zomboid because most clothing doesn't go above the shoulders and helmets don't go below the head. So your neck is a vulnerable spot unless you get a motorcycle helmet. Or there's another helmet. I forget what they're called. That covers the neck as well. Well, we're done looting the bar. What month did we start on? Um, day zero, July, whatever you want to call it. Not six months later or any of that. None of this would look the way it does if it were six months later. Six months later, you'll see a very sizable and noticeable amount of decay. Things falling apart. That kind of thing. Okay, that woke me up. <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> Gunfire. Oh, and it sent them my way. Awesome. Ooh, this car is so total I can't even open it. Yeah, six months later, Apocalypse is not exactly fun. It becomes very procedural in the requirements that you must meet to survive. So we looted the bar. What we haven't looted is the food market, which obviously is going to be full of food, and we want to hit that before um, before we lose power. And this, I can't show it to you because I'm in a car. But um, 
This building here with the green angled shingled roof is the food market. This one. And this is a laundromat. But my trunk is full and I'm full, so. I'm gonna honk a little bit. Maybe I could drive them away. I don't think the crash helmet covers the neck. It's something else. But I could be wrong. Either way, uh, neck covering helmets are awesome in the game. Because if you take a look at your protection, my neck... Normally you would have, like, military boots, which covers your shins and feet well. Your gloves, or your hands, and your neck tends to be the least covered in Zomboid. So... The, uh... The neck covering helmets are uh, pretty OP. In a good way. Well, that's a lot of good new food that we grabbed from the bar, plus a ton of booze. Enough for a party or two, at least. I'm gonna eat that pizza and the rest of my chicken. Three hours in, already a car. Actually, two cars. Both of these cars are operational. And I've got keys for both. Do I have keys for that one? I think I do, yeah. Yeah, I did find the car right away. There are some things that I haven't found yet, but, you know, whatever happens. There we go. All right, the things that absolutely need to be in this fridge have to go in the fridge first, like the burger. We've built up a pretty sizable amount of stuff. I feel fairly comfortable. But being comfortable is like step one to dying in Zomboid, so... Pretend I never said that out loud. No, don't eat the mac and cheese. Ah, oh, damn it. I meant to drag it. Darn it. You mac waster. I'm going to keep one of these wrenches on me. I'm also going to keep the, uh, farming, or not the farming, the, uh, gas cans on me. Ah! Don't want to miss my shows! So what, what is this? This is trapping? I think? Day five. Yep, this should be trapping. It'll get me up to level one. Once the infomercials are over. I'm also T-minus roughly two days until a massive thunderstorm. If memory serves. Wooden cage trap. I already know how to make that one, because I read the magazine. I think. No, I only know trap box and wire cage. Not that it, that's what it's teaching me, it's just teaching me trapping. You've lived in this exact house? That's hilarious. <laughs> 
I'm not so much living in it as I am using it until I'm ready to live somewhere else. I haven't actually decided on where that somewhere else should be. I'm sort of contemplating living in Riverside, um, maybe traveling a bit, but living in Riverside only because I've lived in West Point and Valley Point. I've lived in Maldra. I've lived in Rosewood. I've lived in, um, what's the other one? Uh, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm squatting. Reno Bino. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I like the name. I would go back out, but my character here is just... Hey, a button to push! Well, thanks for pushing that button, Omega Jinx. Thank you for the sub. I would go back out- oh, no, don't throw it in the trash, what are you doing? I would go back out, but this character is way too tired to be effective at fighting out there. All this looting is getting her exhausted. So things I don't, critical things I don't have. I would say I don't have a needle, I don't have th uh, I don't have scissors, I don't have an axe or anything to cut down a tree, so I don't really have a way to get renewable wood. Um, I don't have, obviously, a sledge, but I wasn't expecting that. I don't have a how to use a generator book or magazine. That would be a nice thing to have. Um, what else is pretty critical? I don't. I think I might only have one box of nails, which is pretty bad. I'm trying to think, is there any other big ticket items that I'm just missing outright? That might be it. I got pretty lucky getting a car, even though the engine sucks. I got uh, very lucky on the books I have. I have a lot of uh, the experience books that you would want early on, farming, carpentry, etc. Um, what else was lucky? I have a crash helmet, which is not terrible, or riding helmet, whatever it is. Riding helmet. It's not bad. No insulation to that, but still, perfect coverage. I have multiple screwdrivers, so the screwdriver that I have on me that's in bad condition is not that big of a deal. Oh, no, this one's in perfect condition, but I've looted like two or three. Uh, also, I have a few hammers as well. I do have a wrench jack, lug wrench, and tire pump. So we can do tire swapping. A backpack would be nice. That would be the biggest ticket item that I'm very surprised I haven't had yet. I've searched, I think, every single house in my immediate neighborhood. Uh, so if you do exclamation mark map... <laughs> oh, bug imp! You still have the Wendigo 3D you printed a year ago? <laughs> and now you have a new series to enjoy it. Thank you for all the bits, man. Yeah, even, even Yoda says thank you. Yeah, not having a backpack is actually pretty surprising. I, I would have really thought I would have had a... If not a backpack, like a satchel or something? But nope. Not at all. Alright, let's read a mechanics book. That'll be next. Because I have mechanics... What other beginners do I have? Fishing and first aid. Hopefully I'll not need the first aid. I think that's wishful thinking. Uh, the carpentry I don't need because I'm already past the level. Oh, you know what? Carpentry intermediate. No, I'll, I'll do I'll do mechanics for beginners. I like that. I like that choice. But it's almost bedtime. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind one of the like zombie survivors that had an army bag on them or something like that. I wouldn't complain if uh, one of them decided to swing on by and make themselves available for uh, a stabbing. And eat half of my pizza. Well, I have a very good healthy amount of dried goods now. One thing I need to do is uh, listen to the radio a little bit more often for the upcoming weather and the stuff and the like. I'll have to make a habit of that. Now on Apocalypse Difficulty, you only still get one chopper. 
multiple choppers has to be enabled, and this is just default apocalypse. No, none of the dials were touched. Hundred thirty-seven zombies killed so far. I am a cow. I'm here to tell you something beautiful. Ah, oh, this again. Fifty-three humidity, average of eighty Fahrenheit, which is warm, pretty warm. Clear skies, mild wind. Tomorrow is going to be cooler. Mild wind again. Some clouds. Periods of heavy clouds. And massive thunderstorm and heavy sh rain coming in two days. So it is the 15th on the 17th. Uh, that will be hitting us. 17th would be... This is day six. So that would be day uh, eight which is the last day for television. There really aren't any long-term goals on this run, much the way that um, I didn't really have any last run. It was just survive. The emergency alert system. Uh, can you find it on build 40? I believe so, yeah. And there goes my cooking level three. And the show is done. I hear things. I don't like hearing things outside. Bumping and rustling. I can't believe my weight isn't 75 yet. I've been hammering like ice cream and burgers and I just can't seem to gain the extra kilo. You've been searching everywhere and you can't find the EAS signal? That sucks. I mean, what you could do is just get like 30 radios and tune them in to all of the frequencies. <laughs> And then see what comes on it at the top of the hour. It would be weird. Definitely the shotgun approach of trying to find the EAS. But it would work. I don't suggest it. Hopefully I'll find it. But it would still technically work. You do like shotguns. I, ha I have found a handgun so far. No bullets for it. I guess if this is my car, I should tune in. Oh, I'm on cruise control. I should put the EAS into the radio at some point. What shirt? Am I wearing? Oh, denim. Never mind. Just fall over. Just fall. Now you're just making me mad. You know, you made me mad enough that I'm gonna seal your earrings. They're mine now. So I have looted that building. I want to get down to the food mart. The worry that I have is I might need to steal one of their refrigerators because I don't have a big fridge. I have one of those, like, mini fridges at home. Could you just... Oh, it's... it's doing it again! Worst engine ever. The idea of putting on earrings from a zombie makes you gag. Just wait until you realize that almost everything I'm wearing is from a zombie. And their rotting flesh has fused to the inside of my jacket. Making it extra cozy. My own little Tauntaun jacket. Did I break it already? No, the uh, the engine just came at 10% quality out of 100. 
There's two different things. There's two different- there's multiple different properties that an engine has. One is its quality, which is like, how effective it will start. Another is its noise, how loud it is, and the third is its, like, maintenance or durability. And, um, all engines get just a random quality number, and the random quality number that that engine has just is particularly low. Meaning, it has a hard time starting. And that's not my fault. It's just the way it is. Is that each part or the car itself? That's the engine part. So if I had the mechanic skill to pull out that engine and replace it with a better one, then the car would be hot garbage and hard to start. All right, let's go into our Whole Foods. Ooh, some- oh god, already getting rotted? I should have been here earlier. The Lyra Dragon, thanks for the follow. And Reno Bino for the sub. Is that six months in advance? Holy cow. You need, uh, skill seven to pull an engine? Okay, I thought- it, I think it's five to fix it. Maybe seven to pull it. Either way, it's, um... It's a bit of a pipe dream. It's not something I'm going to be able to do for quite some time. Well, thank you. Here, I'll, I'll give you something even better to watch, which is this little guy. If you sit up and look at you. Uh-oh. I think I'm getting surrounded. I can always use the door. Not only am I getting surrounded, I- oh god, everything is- There's a lot that's rotting. I should've- I should've came here earlier. I thought I had a little bit more time. Yep, and we have company. Look at that sale! What would you sell for 49 cents? Like, oh, single potato? I know, I know this is 1993, so maybe it would be a wider selection, but I can't imagine trying to buy anything at my local grocery store for 49 cents. Be like, here is a half a banana. Enjoy. My poor character is going to break her back. I'm just looting with no regard to her uh, carry capacity. A can of soup for 49 cents? Yeah, in 1993, yeah, definitely. Nowadays, a can of soup is like three bucks. Yeah, fresh produce would sell cheap, you're right. I think that's everything. I think there's a... A zombie in the closet of this laundromat that can't get out. Just hilarious. A dented can? <laughs> I used to... Years ago, I was a stalker for a grocery store. And, um... I bet, I bet some of you can even guess the grocery store, but there was a bit of a policy that, like, employees could, uh, either get damaged goods for free or a discount, because most people don't, and it was a way to prevent spoilage. Um, and one time, the night delivery, the, the delivery had a, the pallet, like, slipped, and it totally crushed and a massive thing of, um, of, uh, cheesecake. So there were, like, 16 boxes of cheesecake that were, that no one would ever buy. I mean, the cheesecake was flattened, right? And, and the supervisor was just like, yep, fair game. <laughs> and, like, everybody brought home, like, three or four boxes of, like, demolished cheesecake, which doesn't taste any different, demolished or not. The 
same place had a policy about uh, about uh, most of the bread would be donated to local uh, soup kitchens and stuff like that, which was pretty cool. There was, I think, some grumblings about people abusing the system and just, like, purposely damaging things that they wanted. But I never did it. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze the vegetables that are going bad. Carrots, pineapple. It won't keep it good forever, but hopefully long enough for me to use it. Oh, I brought rotten strawberries home. I don't have any way currently of, um... I don't have any current way of, uh, composting, so I'm just throwing them outside. I think this is going to turn into a lot of spoiled food pretty soon. Oh, this is full. I don't think the cockroaches need to be frozen. Fine, I'll just eat that tomato. I am making a huge mess of this tiny little house. If I was productive, I would go get some additional storage from nearby homes and, you know, supplement or whatever. But nope, just throwing it all on the ground. If I don't need it now, I'll sort it later. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I think I'm just going to sit and rest until noon to catch the noon show rather than try to go somewhere significant in the next 70 minutes because I don't think I'm going to be able to get anywhere that matters in 70 minutes. Not all that likely. So time to speed up time. And there is the carpentry. Done and done. We're now just about three and a half. I gotta look at the map for a second. Um, just to try to figure out my next move because I don't think there's gonna be anything in the laundromat I care about. I will try, you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try to go down, down to a uh, a farming shed. I highly doubt it will have anything, but I might as well check it. Being thorough and all. If my car will ever start. Big if. What's crazy is the time it takes, like the time that elapses while I try to t start my car in game canonically is like 20 minutes of just like turning the key over and over, which would absolutely flood your engine and you'd never get it started. But somehow this character thinks that that's a good idea to do. I'm fine with it as long as it gets the job done. This parking lot is occupied. You found hiking bags and sheds before? Yeah. Yeah, that's... I don't know what I'm looking for. Wow, this is a lot more zombies here than I thought there'd be. But here's a little farming shed that I wanted to check out. sort of curious about, when's the last time you've heard in-game music? I feel like the music just sort of stopped. 
I haven't had music in a long time. Oh, it's literally empty. Yep. Might reboot the game just to get the music back. But it doesn't come back in a minute. What's down this road further? Uh, there is a barn full of bales of hay, and then there's a little bit of like a hardware thing going on at the end around the corner. I'm gonna try that. I I think at this point, um, oh, and I'm being chased. Oh, but I'm being chased by a cop. If I could get his bulletproof vest quickly, that would be excellent. <laughs> Looks like a herd. Yoink! Yoink! No, don't do this to me. Oh my god. Ah, it's like I'm Austin Powers. Cool. I got the vest. It is in perfect, uh, yeah, perfect condition. And then I also got a holster. So that gives me one more belt slot. <laughs> this car is so slow. I mean, I'm Sunday driver, so it's not really the car's fault. It's me and my trait unwillingness to pedal to the metal. Ooh, hydrate. Cheers. I feel like the road is gonna close behind me full of zombies. I don't feel safe anymore. Yep. And that maintenance shed is swarming, as is the fields. This barn is full of hay. Um, and these fields have a lot of people in them. Who almost can outrun my car going three miles an hour. Yeah, we need a kill dozer. Yeah, that's what we need. Choo choo. It's like the little children's ride at the uh, amusement parks. That's what I feel like this is. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Kakata. All aboard the hype train. <laughs> going. How fast am I going? I guess it says I'm going like almost 30. Hard to believe, because this feels very slow. What other points of interest are around? Well, there's a massive factory out this way, but I don't think I'm about to start. I'm, I'm not about to start on that massive factory, because there needs to be a little bit more time in the day and all that. Did the car break? No, no, I have a Sunday driver trait, which makes me drive absurdly slow. You never drive faster than like 30 miles an hour with Sunday driver. 35, maybe. So this is the factory. If it's not too much of a bear to clear, the factory wouldn't be a terrible spot to base up. It's got plenty of room. Maybe some tools. There's another factory on the south east corner of this one. Like a smaller facility. As you can see, it's pretty expansive. It's basically, unless you have a sledgehammer, it's going to be virtually impossible to secure. Because there's just too many points of access. Uh, but I mostly came over here to see if there was a more reliable car for me to jack. Seeing if there's any, um, keys left in the lot that I could spot, but nope, I don't see such. Oh, there's a key there. 
It's crazy that your dude can spot a key at like 100 feet. Or more than that. Don't mind me. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure if a Chevy, Chevy Dart is going to be an improvement. <laughs> not one with an empty tank. Yeah, let's get out of here before my car gets overrun. Beep, beep. Yeah, it is crazy that... Oh, me? No, I mean, I spotted the key because it stands out. Because the keys in this game are, like, the size of a briefcase. I just think it's funny that they're that large. I'm also getting pretty thirsty. Uh, so the maps do have a wall. The maps are not procedurally generated. Uh, El Padre... They're preset, and you can hit invisible walls. Speed Demon, I think, is worse than Sunday Driver, because you end up just totaling everything. Unless you're very careful about using your cruise control, or not pedal to the metal. An 81 Chevy Malibu. Ooh, la la. A grandmother's car. Was it, like, beige? Well, so the, the Camely Beige Malibu. The, somehow the color modifying the car and making it even slower. I know. It's not how colors work. But somehow those beige Malibus just traveled slower. A red Malibu was someone that, like, wanted a nice car but couldn't afford one. A beige Malibu is someone that is so boring they picked... Beige for a car. Yeah, it was beige. What? I mean, if you have a beige vehicle and you wanted a beige vehicle, I'm sorry to insult your choices here. It's just like... I guess it will never get stolen? Like, that's the only thing I can say about a beige vehicle. Like, no one's gonna steal it purposefully. So... That's the advantage of beige. Great for donuts in winter. <laughs> yeah. Your, your grandfather has a a beige Ford Capri and never got stolen. The, or the car thief was colorblind. Yeah. Or the car thief just had beige tastes. Now, I'm not, I'm not so sure I would want a car of this color either, this, like, uh, but it is a taxi, and it stands to reason that using an odd color for your taxi cab makes sense, I guess. What did I even loot? I didn't even do anything. Just give me... Let's have some pineapple. Let's have some pineapple while I wear my Hawaiian shirt. H. H. C. Oh, this is an alphabetical. Yeah, that would do it. Okay, so you know how I said I was going to wear the Hawaiian... It's probably in one of the shelves. I'm going to do it. Hawaiian shirt. Eating a pineapple. Let's go. That's, that's the goal. I keep getting asked, what is the goal of the series? The goal of the series is to wear a Hawaiian shirt and eat a pineapple. Which, if you are to replicate it for yourself, you'll actually have a pretty hard time, because Hawaiian shirts are super rare. Uh, nope, that's not where they are. Okay, so I had a Hawaiian shirt. I have changed the goal. Pray that I do not change the goal further. Because I can't find my shirt. <laughs> Legit, alright. Uh, I've changed the goal, it's just to eat a pineapple. Yep. I don't even think I have a knife to slice it. I should have grabbed at least like a butter knife. Or bread knife. And, for the record, if you have a frozen pineapple, do not defrost it in the oven. It, it's wrong. 
Red cars, I don't know if they're more likely to get stolen, but they're definitely more likely to get uh, ticketed. Red cars are like, if you want a, if you want a traffic ticket, have a red car. I bet stolen cars would be like common, co the more common the color, probably the more likely it gets stolen. So like black, gray, white. That way, if you put a bolo out on the vehicle, um, it doesn't really help because every car looks like that car and therefore no one cares or tries to find it. I had a friend in high school that uh, drove me to a track meet and his car got stolen while we were at the track meet. You want a treat, dude? Which was very strange. My steal, thanks for the reset. Because it was like broad daylight. You know, it got stolen at like 4 p.m. Oh, let's not miss the shows. And forging is up. So it is, what is the foraging night? This is day six, night of the sixth day. There's only three shows left to catch. There is cooking tomorrow morning, carpentry tomorrow afternoon, or no, actually, Carpentry tomorrow evening. There's nothing tomorrow afternoon. And then um, cooking on overmorrow. I used a fancy word. Cooking in the overmorrow uh, in the morning. And that's it. Not a whole lot left. So I really do have to decide where I'm going to go. I think for the first time in this stream so far, I'm going to pull you all. Where to base up. So we have the factory, which I just showed you a tour of uh, just moments ago. The advantage of the factory is it's big. If I find a sledgehammer, I can secure it. It's near a gas station, uh, so there might be gas nearby. Uh, the other choices would be the bar. Uh, the advantages of basing at the bar is it's a bar, right? I could also base at the Spiffos. So the Spiffos, you know, is a large building next to a gas station and has food or whatever. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to include those three. Where to base up? Just those three. So while you all vote on this, I'm actually going to run to the uh, little boys room. I'll be back in just a sec. I hope you were sufficiently entertained by my little friend Yoda here. I'm going to put a timer up on this uh, vote. So you have that much more time, this much more time to vote. And... My character is feeling a little sad. Oh, you're a little sad? What are we going to do for you? Oh, you know what? I Where's my beer? Drink all. And by all, I mean one can. I don't mean all 15 beers. That would be a problem. For a 75 kilo human, that would be a big problem. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Apocalypse, which originally streamed live September 14th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.